Hey guys, it's Uncanny Gaming, back with another video, as you know, Steven, and today we are going to not only be reviewing Black Widow, but we're also going to be talking about the Epic Quest things that I would I feel very strongly about, and, um, first things first, let's just look at the Black Widow. I don't have her fully upgraded, a lot of controversy going on around her, but, uh, I do have her uniform and some stuff, and her character gear is somewhat high, I can't, like, get to it there, there we go, character gear is somewhat high, but... I feel like uh, I'll be able to have a decent amount of fun with her. And the epic quests, as you can see, I'm much further along in the Rise of X-Men. I'm trying to get somewhere with it. I really want that Wolverine because he is one of the best characters in the game with that healing factor going on, spinning on for ages. Um, so let's just hop into a world boss. Uh, oh, hold on, I'm going to move my camera down here so you, I can... I can see better. Okay, so, um, we're going to have her, and just in case you need backup, we're going to have Cyclops and Thawne and Miles. Um, let's start it up. We're not going to use any character, um, any extra characters to give her an assist. Uh, and I really don't know what to think about her. I heard, I feel, I feel a lot of good emotions towards her, but at the same time, there isn't, oh, bad emotions to her, there, there's, there's, it's mixed the bad, but I gotta say, her attacks are quite good, and, um, more specifically, this one, it's a damage dealer, it does, it, it covers a lot of area, so it's good, it's good in PvE, and you have a lot of mobility with it, and I'm not gonna tier 3, and I haven't had the resources to, uh, get her up any higher, but we're also gonna use her in a co-op. Now, um, I don't really know what to think about her. She's good. She's very good, in fact. And I'm really happy I got this uniform for her. Too bad I wasn't able to get her in the tier three pack because that would have been a huge investment. But I did, in fact, get Iron Man. And there you go. That was quite an easy showdown. Black Widow absolutely destroyed. Wasn't even a competition. I didn't need the backup that I equipped. Which I guess kind of shows how good of a card she can be. If you're three, or she's only going to be better. I don't even have her level 70 yet, but let's go into team. And why not enhance her potential? I can, so why not? So let's level her up. I wanna. I don't want to get her to level 70 someday. Not gonna be easy whatsoever. But I can get it done. Um, I'm giving up a lot of resources to level her up. Let's see if I can answer her potential one more time. Close. I'm going to take a chance on it. Okay, we got it. Now we have a nice level 66 Black Widow on our team. Great, 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 great. I'm quite happy about this. More than you could uh, that I'm, I guess I'm expressing, but... um. She's going to be a very nice card to use, and she's up there with my Spidey, who I love. Can't get enough of. We're going to hop into a co-op with her, and we're going to see what we can do. And maybe we'll even do a timeline battle, a timeline battle ugh, just for some filler. So let's just hop into a quick match, and we'll see what goes on there. Um, So we're playing with too good, but not insane, so she could have a chance to dominate. I wouldn't know if she would. This is not my best card by any means, but she could have a certain chance. We're playing with a rescue and a Captain Marvel. Um, as you can see, those those are good cards. They cut more specifically the Captain Marvel, who's probably going to be the number one on the board. Rescue, I think, will be the last. Um, I might actually have to leave this lobby if they don't ready up. Well, that was a bit old L. Uh, <laughs> um, so let's hop right into another match. Taking a long time. This is a very crowded queue, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I really do like her uniform, and this is definitely not going to be her match. She's going to... Oh, no, she's going to be second, for sure. There's no way that... Um, no, no skinned <laughs> level 60, no tier 2 Captain Marvel will have any chance of keeping up with her, but... You never know these days. My um, Cyclops uniform is absolutely insane. He's number one against tier threes before, which I find quite insane. 
and I am 100% sure, 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 mm, sure that that's Sean Thor. Um, yep, got number one. But we did actually have 46%. I'm out of here. Let's do a timeline battle with her at the head. Now, I'm pro I've not been on a good streak lately in timeline battles whatsoever, but I feel as if she can make the difference. Uh, so let's get into a timeline battle. Let's get ready. And let's change this team. Black Widow's all the way over here. Um, I think I'll take out... Yeah, let's do this team. This team is good. Cap, Captain America, Iron Man, and Black Widow. That's going to... That, that, first off, that's a lot of synergy. They're the starting characters. And... Woo, that's going to be a hard one to beat. I don't know. There's a Black Widow on their team, too. So... Black Widow versus Black Widow Showdown, I guess. Uh... See who's Black Widow is the best. Um, I'm not too sure about this one. Don't count on me. I don't think I'm going to win it. Um, but we can see here. We can see here. Um, I think I'll be able to take out this Black Widow, though. I might have to sub in my Iron Man. Oh, yeah, definitely subbing in my Iron Man. Black Widow died almost immediately. Iron Man will easily take out Black Widow. Ooh, maybe not easily. Black Widow's helicopter attack, as I said, is very overpowered, but does eventually take her out. Now, this Deadpool is not going to be taken out with any ease whatsoever. If anything, I'm probably going to struggle on him the most. I never have, yeah, no. I, I always struggle with anybody who has a healing factor, such as Wolverine or Deadpool. So, I feel like it's good that they added the Epic Quest with an overpowered, um, two overpowered characters, but sometimes they feel a bit easy to get, and I am stuck in a corner. That's great. Oh, God. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> um, so let's see what I have in store here. Come on, can Black Widow take out the Deadpool? She can! That just shows her um, flexibility with attacks, but that tier 3 cap with the new uniform is absolutely deadly. I wasn't expecting to beat him, but I'm surprised how far um, she came. She didn't do too well against herself. Surprisingly, but uh, um, Iron Man took care of that. Um, she ended up taking care of Deadpool, who I struggled with for a long time. And I feel like that's a good place to end it. She's not perfect. She's not amazing. But she's a very good, great option if you're looking for someone to upgrade. Um, there's a, then, like that, that's something that you really want in a character. That's all you really need in a character is someone who you don't regret upgrading. Um such as, like, a Spider-Man is also a very safe option. That's a very good example of someone who you should never regret upgrading. So, I feel like there's no real risk in upgrading her. But, but take this with a grain of salt, as you do need her uniform, her newest one, Black Widow Ruby uniform, to have a great chance at doing anything. Um, And I would say she's probably one of the better cards in the game. Again, I did not pour as much effort into her. I don't really want to. I don't think that she's my personal favorite card. But she isn't a bad card to say. Um, if you really want her, get her. Especially if you have her uniform. She is a great option in that case. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.